Um, so, Tina, this story is, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this story, right? Because you told me about the story. You sent me the Snapchat, um, the, the, the picture. I, don't, I say Snapchat. You sent me the picture. But why don't you tell the folks who this person is, what are we talking about, and what the issue is? Well, this is uh, a story that I'm going to be doing uh, on Good Nurse, Bad Nurse with the person that this happened to. So uh, Joshua Strickland is a nurse who was at work, and I guess it was a, a new position that he had taken, and something happened to him where he was, uh, what well, we were just talking about, being uh, verbally abused. Yes. and. So someone, you know, made a comment to him, the, the patient made a comment to him after he was trying to assess her mental um, st uh, stability. And um, so he asked her the questions that are appropriate to ask and then asked if he could do anything else. And, you know, she responded with a kind of a rude uh, comment. And then he thought, I think he, he, he just sent a thank you and left, you know, but then thought it was um, just shocking. He said it really shocked him when she said that. So he took a picture of himself. He was on lunch. He took a picture of himself and then he um, he put posted it on this uh, a closed social media group. So this uh, a closed group is a group of people who can't you they can see each other's um, posts and messages but the public other, can't. Other people can't. And so it's a, it's a place where you supposedly you can go and, you know, rant and vent, um, not violate HIPAA, of course, or uh, anything like that, but just sort of just um, maybe blow off some steam or whatever, get advice about a situation. And so he, he just posted the picture, said what was said to him. It was, uh, so, it was something that could have been said by anyone, any patient, it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't an identifier in any way. Nobody, no one would listen to that and, and say, Oh, I know who that person is. He did not violate HIPAA. And then someone in that group screenshotted his post. And for whatever reason, they didn't, I don't know if they didn't like him or maybe he made a comment. I don't know. I haven't talked to him uh, yet because we haven't recorded the episode we're going to talk about it tomorrow and then I'll post it hopefully next week. But I don't know the whole story. All I know really is kind of what, um, Let up what is it. online. Yeah. So yeah. he, this person for, and, and he doesn't know who it is, but this person screenshotted it and then sent it to his employer. And then because it went viral and people were liking it and commenting on it, they said, well, they kind of gave him a verbal reprimand, reprimand, but then they they fired him, and they Which said, "Well, you, yeah, you can't um, you can't be doing that." So they fired him. He lost his job over it, and it's just been um, a nightmare for him. Of course, it's been a nightmare, and like I know, so we're being kind of vague. So I'm gonna actually just read the actual um, the post that was in the Facebook group, um, and then, like she said, like. I, I, let me read it and then i'll tell you how i feel about it okay so it says so you'll see the picture for the for those um you, you'll just see it up on the screen i took a new position on an acute med psych floor and my very first day as i was making rounds patient denies suicidal ideation homicidal ideation mild de de depression is there anything i can help you with he asks you can fuck off and die okay ma'am i'll try my best we'll continue to monitor i think First of all, when she when Tina sent me that, I was laughing. I sent back, ha ha, that is very funny. I didn't know that that was a story because in my head, I've seen this post, this description of a shitty day like this a thousand different times mm -hmm. in a thousand different Facebook groups and goddamn like open Instagram pages, like not even closed groups. So like the fact that this was in a closed group blows my mind that another yeah. nurse would send this out if someone is sending this out i feel like every nurse on social media period has to lose their job too because everybody tells patient stories obviously he was smart enough not to put any hipaa violating or patient identifying information in there but like i think it's absolutely ridiculous that he lost his job and I don't know. I thought us nurses had each other's backs. It hurts 
it hurts to know that it was another nurse. It was someone else in that group that I ratted him out. And I have to let y'all know, because this is important to know, that the nurse that did rat him out, and I'm not going to rat out the nurse who ratted him out, but the nurse <laughs> was from Massachusetts, which makes me feel even worse. But aren't they always cute? Aren't they all? <laughs> you, know, I'm, you know I'm kidding, but it just does seem to be, it's so ironic when we do these stories and Massachusetts seems to always pop in somewhere. But um, I know it's, it makes me sad. I know that we, we want nurses. I think the vast majority of, of nurses do support each other yeah. and they are encouraging. But then there's always, there are always those people who just want to cause trouble and exactly. they, they're they always going to exist in every profession, not just nursing. Yeah, no. And like, I just want to stress to everybody, like you guys heard me. And for those who are watching, you see it on the screen, like, like honest, honest to God, though, that's like, the, like the most tame I've seen in like those kind of posts ever. Right. And he like in the post, I give him credit. I would have felt bitter. I would have said some kind of words. I would have said something to the patient. He was as kind as a nurse as a human being can be. And then all of this happens to him. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I think it's horrible. And um, yeah, no, just tell him the shout out from Q the nurse the next time you, when you speak to him, because God damn it, I hope he finds a job. I hope he has a job right now and good things are coming his way because that's a shitty situation to be in. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate this. If you guys were informed or educated in any way, shape, or form by these stories, um, please hit that like button. If you liked my presentation of the news, I really suggest you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time Q the Nurse drops some hot, fresh press news. Thank you. Catch you next week. Deuces.